this album grew on me a lot this is the perfect example of an album that really 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 grew on me it's kind of similar to life of a don by don Tolliver last year when i finally made that review after the album being out for a month or two i emphasize a lot that it really 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 grew on me as a project and so did this especially in the last couple days the last couple of days, I, I feel I really got ready, um, like unconsciously, just got ready to, to listen or to finally review this album after it being out for, I think, um, almost almost four months. It's been out for almost four months. I, I think it, it came out October 15th, so it's been like three and a half, almost four months. Um, it's been a while. I've had a lot of time to let it sink in and digest um, a lot of time. Um, there was some times where I wasn't coming back to it. Um, I gave it a couple of listens all the way through, um, back when it came out, came back to it once in a while, sometimes paid attention to it, sometimes didn't pay attention to it as much, came back to it more recently, and in the last couple of days, I've come back to it a lot, as a whole, the entire album, it's not long, 11 songs, 34 minutes long, but it's a quality album, similar to her last album, Is It Selfish If We Talk About Me Again, which I'm still very, very bummed out, I couldn't get the vinyl for it, because it was limited. I did order the, the I did order the vinyl for this album though, so I'm happy about that. But I do want the vinyl for the other one. Um, if you have that vinyl, let me know down in the comment section. I will buy it. I will pay triple what you paid for it. Um, but getting back to the album, um, this grew on me a lot, um, especially in the last couple of days. I just had the urge, the random urge, to listen to it, and I don't know. It, it the sound really, really, really grew on me. I loved her last album. Is it so Should we talk about me again? It was, it's kind of weird because I love that one at first listen, but this one took me a while to really get into, to really, really, really get into it. I got into um, her last album, first listen, first couple listens, I really, really, really enjoyed it. This one though, uh, took me took me a while, it took me, like I said, almost four months to really, really get into this album. At first it was just like, it's okay, it's it's good. But it's not, it, it, it doesn't live up to, to, to the last album. Um, it's not as good as the last album. But I think by now, after having four months to listen to it, I'm very, very satisfied with it. And um, I think I'll be listening to it for a while. And I think it is probably as good, I don't know about better yet, but as good as her last album. Around two years ago, when the world collapsed, I really got into this mellow, laid back, relaxed style. Thanks to Circles by Mac Miller, it's actually funny because that album, I didn't like it at first, came back to it a couple months later and really, really, really enjoyed it and now it's my favorite album of all time. And because of that album, I really started to get into that laid back, mellow, relaxed kind of music. Six months later when It Is Selfish If We Talk About Me Again released, um, I got into that one, that album as well, being laid back in a totally different style, being like laid back mellow melodic very melodic laid back vocals pop music and i'm not i'm not a fan of like mainstream pop and this isn't really mainstream pop but it's it's that melodic laid back style which i i love now i i, I love it very relaxing um it, it sounds very good to me as well i i said it in the review for seasons bloom the single on here the lead single um that I love her voice. Um, her voice sounds very good when she uses it the right way, and I didn't think she was using it the right way, or in a in a, exactly how I expected on this album at first. But after coming back to it somewhat recently, I really, really, really enjoy her melodies and vocals on here. It's not that they're they're it's not just that they're relaxing. They also uh, just just sound very good to me. Sound very appealing. Sound very good. The her voice. The, the long melodies sound very, 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 very good in my opinion. Um, really, really appeal to me and really make for good tracks and good hooks and a great project overall in my opinion. I think she also really got out of her comfort zone on here talking about um, some insecurities, um, things like anxiety and depression as well. Um, and, and doing it in a way where her, her vocals and the, and the track and the production sound sound very good as well. And she talks about those things in a, a, a good, relaxing way, in my opinion. Easy Going is a perfect example of that. Um, talking about things like depression, being sad, 
things like that and open it up about that. The track So Loud is a different song production wise with some louder drums on there, which I think sound very good. It grew on me quite a bit. I think they sound good. The louder drums on the hook on there um, kind of go along with the, the title of the track So Loud and the hook. And the song also comes back to her being vulnerable, talking about sadness, anxiety, and things along the line of that. On So Loud, she talks about how being quiet is so loud. This, and of course, Easy Going, being the more, the more vulnerable tracks for her, getting out of her comfort zone, talking about different things on the album. The first track is probably my favorite, if not one of my favorites on the album. I couldn't wait with amazing vocals and an, an amazing hook. The track has a perfect length, production's perfect, fits perfect with her melodies and vocals. I love the hook, even with the little bit of auto-tune and kind of distorted vocals on there. Sounds pretty good in my opinion. Melodies are perfect on there. I love the hook as well. Seasons Bloom is a song I'm not coming back to a whole lot now because I played it a lot um, when it came out back in August. We had three months, roughly three months with that song. So, so I played that a lot um, before the album came out and it was on the album. Um, but it is a very good song. Um, I don't turn it off when it comes on. I just haven't played it a whole lot recently because I've already heard it so many times because it, it came out before this album initially released. Great production, great vocals on Season Bloom. I love the vocals on there. One of her best vocal performances on the album for sure. So, some of the best melodies on the album as well. Songs like The Right Time and Walking at Midnight are two of the other songs on here where she has amazing vocal performances, great melodies, and great hooks. Her melodies on the hooks of these songs make for very catchy, relaxing, mellow, and good sounding hooks and melodies and a great sound overall on the track. I keep coming back to songs like Walking at Midnight, um, So Loud, The Right Time, and I Couldn't Wait because of the amazing vocal performances on those tracks. Songs like Caterpillars and Another You, the last track, are songs that don't stand out a whole lot to me, but are still great tracks. Uh, there's not one bad song or really one bad moment on this album. Nothing that makes you go, oh, that, that didn't sound good, that, that or what is she doing? Um, no bad moments on this album, no bad tracks. Really nothing but praise. A couple songs, like I said, that don't stand out a whole lot, but the ones that stand out, stand out and have great vocal performances and hooks. That's probably my, my biggest praises for this album. The vocal performances and then the hooks as well. Her creating this, this style and this melodic, laid back, relaxing, and more vulnerable album project as well deserves a lot of praise as well. Creating this, this sound and more vulnerable, getting out of her comfort zone project is very good and a very appealing sound, a very appealing project sound wise as well. I love the vocals. I love her voice. This project just reassures why I love Casey Hill and her music so much. The vocals, the catchy hooks, the production that is very relaxing, mellow, and fits her perfectly. Production on this project from start to finish sounds amazing, nice and relaxing, fits her vocals perfectly as well. Her production choice is, at least from the last two projects, very, very, very good and on point in my opinion. Overall, as a project, as an album, this is very good in my opinion. I love it sound-wise, love the vocals as well. My vocal, the vocals, not my vocals, are probably my favorite part of the album. Very relaxing, a very, very, very good album in my opinion. Favorite tracks have got to be Walking at Midnight, So Loud, Seasons Bloom, Maybe Easy Going, um, I Couldn't Wait, and The Right Time are my favorite tracks on the album. Very good vocal performances and hooks. The rest of the tracks are not bad at all. Just some of them don't stand out as much, but overall as a project, this is very enjoyable and very relaxing as well. Rating for this project, I'm going to give it I'm feeling between an 8.5 and 9. Um, some very, very good stuff on here. Great vocals. I love her vocals. I've said it a million times, but I love Casey Hill's vocals. 8.5, 9-ish, um, the rating for this album. Thank you for watching. Drop a like, drop your thoughts on this album down in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next video.